What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Muscle Gaming here, and today is a special day because I'm starting a new series, and that will be Redstone Tutorials. So I thought for the first episode we would start off with something really, really basic. This is an automatic cobblestone generator. It's one of the most simple redstone contraptions. Like, anyone can make it. All you need to really know how to do is make a cobblestone generator. So I will demonstrate how it works. It's just you step on the pressure plate, piece of cobblestone shows up, step off, let generate. So this pretty much just makes it easier than standing in the cobblestone generator and actually just going like that, whatever. So you're gonna start off by making here, let's go all the way over here. You're gonna start off by making a little thing out of like any type of block you really want. Or you can you can make this into the ground. But I prefer to use iron blocks because I love iron blocks. They look so awesome. But and then what you're gonna do? You're gonna put one block there, and then lava there. And you're gonna dig down there, water there, break it, generates cobblestone. Now we're gonna just actually take out the lava and the water just for one second. And oh crap! <laughs> to be lazy replace it with a block of iron and then oh jeez <laughs> right here gonna put a piston like that yep and then put a redstone repeater four ticks have it going up here and then we'll continue that later so now that we got that let's break these ah rain hate rain it's so annoying and then now once the weather changes I can tell you oh Ugh. see that's why it always makes our computer lag so then you're gonna put a piston here and then also on this one you're gonna time it with a redstone repeater that was wrong there we go set this one to four ticks and then you're gonna put the water back in and the lava back in you put just an iron block there. Oh wait, water goes on this side. Oh. <laughs> and lava right there. Ooh, I'm on fire. <laughs> and then now, you're just gonna take a pressure plate and put that right there. Get some redstone. Touch that. Bring it around. It's okay if it double hooks like that. It doesn't actually matter. Like, it won't make any difference. And then here, you're going to have to put another block of your choice. Actually, just to make it easier. Bring that around. And then normally what I do, I make it just a bit higher. Because it always seems to work a bit better. And sometimes the timing can be a bit off. So what it'll actually do, it'll push this block up. But that can always be fixed. Whatever, but I'm not very good at using repeaters. So, I can't. I'm not very good with timing stuff. <laughs> here, I'm just gonna set the time today. Oh, wait, here. There we go. And then, like that. And now you just gotta use it a few times. The first time is obviously gonna put an iron block there, because that's what I placed. So you can see, if I show you from the inside, oh here I should break these, so watch this. See, so it just pushes it up and pushes it forward, and then once you have it like that, you're just going to do it one more time, and then you can mine it. So let's do... And then... So yeah, it pretty much just works like that. And that's how you make an automatic cobblestone generator. Goodbye, minions.